Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now this week I want to talk about the beta program as well as looking at some custom components. Now the beta, I'm pleased to say, is going really well and for a while we had stopped adding new users to it and this was to give us a chance to catch up and just focus on their feedback and make sure things were shaping up nicely. Now we've got Elements to a stage where we're confident we can start adding new users. And if you hang out on the forum a lot, you'll know that that's the case because we ask for we ask for more people to sign up. And if you filled in this form um, at any point in the last six months, you're on the Elements Beta list. And we're now starting to email out to um, you guys if you're on that list or those people on that list. We're starting at the bottom, so it's kind of a first come, first serve basis. We are going to be adding new users every day and we're hoping to get through this list um, before the end of the year. So if you signed up here, you will be able to get access to Elements this year. Now, um, it's going to be over, I, I think we will get through it before 2025. So we're hoping just to get everyone on board before Christmas, which is rapidly approaching. Um, so yeah, so that's really good. Um, which is good news and then that will lead us into 2025 when we'll do a more public beta so that anyone can kind of come and sign up on the website um, a quick thing about pricing the elements manual we work on it most weeks and we're adding content to it there's still a lot missing um, but we're doing content as well as video so you can go into any section and just learn about it watch a video etc and um, we have added the pricing information here now we think the pricing is super super fair um, and really aggressive especially the base cost which is only 59 dollars a year that includes the full app um, and everything is included in that so uh, it's a really low barrier to entry there um, so yeah so you can go here have a look at what's included um, and as i said before we are charging for the beta uh, but that's fine if you don't if you're not comfortable paying for the beta you can just wait until elements is public next year so um, with that out of the way let's go and take a look at um, some custom components now um, this thread on the forum I think this came about there was quite a few users asking for um, they wanted type to flow between columns and elements or our components in elements do doesn't support that at the moment but tailwinds does um, so I think what's happened is Steve here has, uh, this is for the past week, I think it's, he started, let's go back here. Uh, yeah, six days ago, he started looking into um, building uh, a custom component to allow you to, to do these columns. Um, and you can see here, he's making pretty good progress and there's some back and forth, he had some questions, um, but he's done a great job. And this really is the power of custom components that with a little bit of HTML knowledge, you can go ahead and build custom components in elements to, to do that thing that you need. Um, and maybe if you can't program, someone else will. And like Steve has done here, uh, let's go, uh, to the bottom here um, he shared his project on the forum and this is really powerful just it opens it up you don't need to be a developer and know how how to put together a, a component you can really easily do it with this and so he shared this project and um, I thought it'd be fun to use this and see how it works in elements rather than looking at our own components which we've got some really big updates coming to those we've got some um, We've got the scroll animation stuff coming. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to show you that next week. It's looking really good. Um, yeah, anyway, let's take a look at this. So we can click this link and it magically opens up in Elements because it's on Elements Cloud. Elements just downloads the document. Really good stuff. Now uh, let's have a look at the node tree or no, actually, let's see. Uh, so this was a blank project, as Steve said in his, um, in his message, and we've got the columns component here that we can just drop in now I want to use this column component but I want to use it in another project so what I'm going to do I've dropped into here and I'm just going to copy it and uh, let's just paste it in here and oh yeah columns there it is um, so this is Steve's custom component and if I go back here let's just have a look it's um, 
pretty straightforward. It's got some classes, uh, it's got some divs and classes there. And these things in double brackets are values that um, get populated from these settings. So he's set up a few properties in here. If you don't know how custom components work, do go back and look um, for the custom component videos on YouTube. We've, I've recorded quite a few of them and it'll explain how all this stuff works. Um, so he's built this. So let's go back here and we wanna use this. So let's drop it into here. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my typography and I'm gonna drop it into uh, Steve's, let's have a look. That didn't quite drop in there. Let's see where's the typography, uh, that one. And I'm gonna drop it into um, the columns. There we are, right, so um, yeah, so now we've got our typography in uh, Steve's little column uh, component and you can see it's uh, it's got two columns there and um, there's plenty of things we can customize in here. He's got some paddings. Let's just set the background color. Aha, there we go. Yeah, so this is um, this is the component. We'll set that to none because we don't really need that. Um, which you'll notice is a new feature if you've been paying attention in elements and using this as the beta you can now set something to no color rather than having to set the previously you'd have to set the opacity to zero uh, but now we have this new no color option so there's lots of stuff that goes into elements like this every week just these little bits of polish so um, columns uh, we can adjust the amount of columns here now this is um, obviously going outside the uh, box here let's leave it at two um, and he's also got a setting here where you can change the width of the column um, so each column is 126 pixels uh, 300 so yeah so pretty flexible stuff I'm going to leave it on two columns for now he's got some options with text layouts you can uh, uh, just justify the text which is quite nice let's do that so this is really looking um quite print like and uh you can set a gap uh this is really cool stuff um let's open this up a little bit more um as we don't need what i'm going to do let's because uh, i've got this two column thing going on here let's stretch this out um, we'll move that above the sidebar boom there we are so now we've got these two columns and now we've got a bit more space. Let's move it to three. So that is looking pretty good. And what I want to do, I've got this image down here and let's drop it uh, into the beginning of the column. Um, so yeah, this is, this is uh, looking very nice. Um, and what about, uh, we'll get another image in here. Let's drop that in the columns as well. So now we've got this nice um, this nice text that flows through here. These headings are a little bit big and because I'm using the typography component, I've got long form set up. We'll go to the theme studio and let's edit that. Uh, we'll edit our H1s first. Let's make those a lot smaller. Let's do those uh, X3 and then our H2s. Yeah, and then our H3s, let's make those smaller. So that is looking pretty nice. And the quote, uh, the quote is quite big. Let's make that 2XL. And we will uh, we'll change the padding on that, the margin there. Super. Um, yeah, this is looking very nice. And, you know, we can still edit the text here, even though this is, and it's just, it's reflowing it. So this really is reminiscent of um, page layout, like print magazines, newspapers. You know, it really reminds me of things like Quark Express. If, you're, uh, if you've been on the Mac for a long time, you might remember that. Um, or InDesign, things like that. So, yeah, you know, and this is a custom component. And Steve has just shared this for free on the forum. Um, it's really great stuff uh, and I you know you can see here I, I've just dropped multiple things into this um, 
and we could probably drop some more text in here. So this is another typography component. Uh, and let's make it long form. And so it matches the rest. And we'll set this up um, as a, uh, we'll set this up as a heading. Boom. So now we've, uh, you can see in the columns, we've got an image, some text. This is really nice stuff. And that's um, free component on the forum. I know, uh, I don't think Steve's is finished with this yet, but it's really cool um, to be able to look at this uh, and play around with it. And you know, um, let's have a look here. He's got, oh uh, yeah, okay. So he's, he's done this, um, divider here so you can probably just so you can see where your breaks are um, so lots of cool things to play around with in this um, let's get rid of the divider Oop. yeah it's a great little custom component um, and I know there's other users on the forum that are building custom components as well uh, and it's just, it really is one of the killer features of Elements. And it's one of the features that I love that people can come along and do this. And, you know, and I could, um, uh, now Steve has shared this. If I wanted to, I could come in here and I could customize this component and I could change, you know, if there weren't properties in here that I need, I could go ahead and add these. Um, so it's really open, really powerful, really good. All right, um, that's it for this week. Um, thanks, Steve, on the forum for this uh, amazing component. I think a lot of users will um, will really dig this, and I know some people have been asking for it, so it's perfect. All right, uh, that's it for this week. I will catch you in the next one, um, and I hope you're enjoying using Elements. And if you're on that beta list, I hope uh, we'll get to you soon, and welcome to all the new users as well. All right, thanks for watching this one and I will catch you next week. Cheers, bye.